How far would you go to protect your companion animal children? I have little doubt that you would do anything you could to protect them from actual physical harm. But how far do you go to protect them from the things we tend to take for granted? You already know that your prescription for you or your companion animal children to enjoy the best health and wellness has to start with the finest nutritional choices. If you're anything like me, you keep a watchful eye on your companion children constantly, taking great care that they do not try to eat something they might find on your floor, or in the yard, or on a walk. You already know that your prescription for you or your companion animal children to enjoy the best health and wellness has to start with the finest nutritional choices. If you're anything like me, you keep a watchful eye on your companion children constantly, taking great care that they do not try to eat something they might find on your floor, or in the yard, or on a walk. Yet you will then feed your companion animal children something out of a bag or a can prepared and processed by complete strangers. It isn't entirely your fault after all. You eat the food you bought the same way, prepared and packaged the same way by complete strangers. For a long time, people either lived on or near farms where their food grew. People who lived in towns generally bought their food in farmers markets where they got to know the farmers who grew the food they would take to their homes to eat. As our lives grew busier, and more people moved to the towns and cities farther from the actual farm that grew the food, we began to rely on wholesalers we never meet or know anything about. We buy the farm products that they sell to large retailers, again, who we don't know or know very little about. You may never want to completely replace the convenience of buying some items from a big box store. But when it comes to the essential basic building blocks of life, wouldn't you want a better chance of knowing how the things you eat are grown and who the people are who are growing your food? One of the things that makes me excited about the modern world is how technology has made the world smaller. You have the opportunity to buy healthier, naturally grown produce directly from farms run by farmers with whom you are able to become familiar. We can place actual boots on the ground anywhere in the world and learn the benefits or lack thereof of smaller independent farms ensuring that their produce their products are grown with pride won't you join me in this exciting journey to explore healthier alternatives so you your companion animal children and mine can live healthier, happier lives. 
Thank you for listening to me, and I hope to hear from you about your thoughts on this subject. Hearing your stories, learning about your life, and the life of your companion animal children, while sharing stories and information about other people and their companion animal children.